You know, there are certain fragrances that I just can't live without. The fragrances that you're about to see in this video are ones that I wear often, regardless of what season it is, regardless of what situation it is. These fragrances always end up in my rotation no matter what. And again, it's because it's true. I can't live without them. I can't go without spraying these fragrances and without wearing these fragrances. I genuinely like them that much. So I thought this would be a pretty cool video idea for you guys to see on basically my fragrance essentials, the ones that I need to have. Before we get into my list though, I wanna hear from you guys though. Let me know down below in the comments which fragrances in your collection are your must-haves. What are the fragrances that you can't live without? And of course, while you're at it, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Also turn on post notifications and give this video a like. And now, let's go and jump into this. Starting off with the first fragrance, we have Bulgari Aqua Atlantique. So you probably heard about this one a lot over the summer, and that's because, well, I wore it a lot over the summer. What can I say? One of my personal favorite scents. Ever since I first got it, I was like, wow, this is different. This is unique, and it definitely is. It smells incredible. This is one of the strongest performing fresh fragrances that I own. That should say something because, you know, there's stuff like Dior Sauvage and some other blue fragrances and stuff like that, Aqua de Gel Profumo, that perform really good, but this one... This one's better. It's also one of my most complimented fragrances of all time. So, I mean, if you want a really good, fresh fragrance that's aquatic and that's 100%, well, not 100% unique, but that is very unique in terms of the other blue fragrances, I highly recommend you check this one out for sure. Gonna run you about $40, $45, $50, but it's worth the investment 100 times over. Bulgari Aqua Atlantique, I can't live without this one. Coming up, we have a Zaro Porum Intense. This is one of my new pickups that you've probably been hearing about a lot on the channel. This one, this one's really blown me away. I've been enjoying this fragrance so much. Uh, it just is beautiful. It's warm, it's spicy, it's sweet, it's sexy. There's so many great things about this fragrance. It's gonna run you about 30, 35 bucks, which is a steal of a price for this stuff. You just can't beat it. It's great, it's unique. It's high quality for the price you're paying. It's, you know, no one else around you is going to be wearing it. I mean, it's just really good stuff, 100% worth picking up. And again, it's one that I can't live without. This one is going to stay in my collection for years to come, and it's one that's always going to be making in my rotation at some point, especially in the winter. Um, next we have, oof, this is a heavy hitter for me, Dior Ohm Cologne. So I just took a smell of it from the atomizer before I brought it on camera, and it really just... It brought me back to summer instantly. It brought me right, right back. I wore this fragrance a ton over the summer. It's one of my personal favorite summer fragrances. It's just that good for me. And some people may say it's boring. Some people may say it's overrated or whatever, but not for me. 100% not for me. It's, it's amazing to me. It's a masterpiece to me. It just smells that good. It smells like a nice glass of, uh, you don't even need to hear about that comparison. It's been talked about before. You get what I'm trying to say with this one. It's incredible. Made it in a lot of my summer videos. If you just search Dior Own Cologne on YouTube, chances are a lot of my videos are going to be popping up because what can I say? I wore it a lot. I'm going to wear it a lot this summer as well. It's just that good. Dior Own Cologne, a masterpiece in my opinion. A little bit expensive for what it is, and I will agree to that, but for me, 100% worth it. And again, you can get it for a pretty good price. Have a link to Fragrance Net down below to this fragrance where you can get it, probably around 80 bucks or so, which is a great price for this scent and 100% worth it if you're asking me. Up next, we have this guy, Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de L'Homme. Beautiful, beautiful scent right here. I love this fragrance. Again, it's been talked about absolutely to death by this point. And like I said before in other videos, just because it's popular doesn't mean it sucks all of a sudden and you know I still choose to wear this fragrance even though that there are better fragrances out there now and even though I own fragrances that are better and more expensive than this one I still come back to this one and that does say something. Lana Wee DeLome can't live without this fragrance. I wear it often. I try to mostly save it for the fall and winter but oftentimes in the spring and summer I will spray it on and I will wear it just because I can't help myself. It's just that good a 100% must have. If you don't have this in your collection, you need to get it. Lana Weed Delome. This is one that I just, I just can't live without it, man. Up next, we have a new release that I've been enjoying a lot this year that I've really just fallen in love with and that honestly has really impressed me a lot. This one is John Varvatos Nick Jonas Red. 
oh, this one is really, really good. When I looked at the notes at first, I was like, it's probably going to be pleasant. And, you know, it is a John Vervedos fragrance. So I was assuming that I was going to like it. But when I got this one in and I smelled it, I was blown away. I really was. I was really impressed by this fragrance. And like I've said in multiple videos, John Vervedos hasn't let me down yet. And I don't think they're going to at this point. They make fantastic scents, especially for the price. I mean, you can get this one for a killer price online. Again, it's going to be linked down below. Even though it is new, still can get it for a really good price. You're getting a really high quality scent and a really unique scent at that for a killer price. I love this fragrance. It smells great. It's one that I'm going to be wearing a lot all year round. John Varvatos, Nick Jonas Red. This is another one where if you haven't gotten your nose on this one yet, you got to try it at some point. It just smells phenomenal. Up next here, we have Chanel Platinum Ego East. I love this fragrance here, and I've talked about it a lot so far. Another one of my newer pickups, and I've been wearing it a lot. It may not look like I have been, but I am actually starting to put a dent in this bottle. Um, and again, you're probably like, oh, that's nothing. But when you got to realize that I wear a ton of different fragrances for testing, and I just in general have a lot of different fragrances, the fact that after a couple months or however long it's been, I've already started to put a dent in this, says something at least for me personally. For some of you, you may be able to run through a bottle quicker, but for me on my personal, you know, how I wear fragrances, for me to put a dent in a bottle this fast says something about the fragrance. And for me, that says that this is an incredible fragrance. I love this stuff. I've fallen in love with it. It smells amazing. It's masculine. It's fresh. It's classic. It's hard to beat. And I love it so much that after I picked up this bottle and got it in and smelled it, I went out and I got myself another one. So I have two bottles of it. This one's older. This one's newer. There's a little bit of a color difference in them. This one's a little bit darker if it's showing up on camera. Um, this one's a little bit lighter. I'm going to do a whole video on it. I've been saying that I will, and I've been putting it off, but trust me, I will get a video out a full review on the scent and also comparing the two together. So if you want to see that, make sure you get subscribed. I'll get it out here soon. Up next, we have another Dior fragrance. This one is Dior Ohm Intense. Love this scent. This one is one that I tried a while back from a sample. And when I tried it, I'm like, wow, that is, that's nice. Cause I wasn't expecting to like it because of the lipstick iris type of note that you hear talked about. Once I tried it, I was blown away and I loved it. Can't live without this scent. I love wearing it in the fall and in the winter, especially in the winter. It works really nice. Again, sometimes in spring and in summer, I will find myself just spraying it on and just wearing it really just because I can't help myself. I love it so much. I start to miss it. I start to crave it because it is a great scent. It's addicting. It's alluring. It's just incredible stuff. High quality, great performance. It's a Dior fragrance and that's really about what you can expect from them. Love this one. Can't live without it. Um, next here we have Baccarat Rouge 540. So this was my first Baccarat. So this was my first MFK fragrance I ever smelled. And it blew me away. And it still does blow me away every time I smell this fragrance. Beautiful. Gorgeous. It's just a masterpiece in my opinion. There's something about it that's just so complex but also simplistic at the same time. If that makes sense, it probably doesn't. It's got like this transparent, woody smell. It's incredible. One of the strongest fragrances in my collection as well, and it is only an EDP concentration. They make it straight as well, which I can only imagine is even more strong. Not that you need it to be. This one already though is super strong and super unique, smells amazing. I can't live without this one in my collection. I really can't. And while I do prefer it more for the fall and winter, I'll wear it in the spring and summer as well. In fact, I wore it a lot in the summertime. It just still works great, and I just love it, and I can't help myself. Back Red Rouge 540, a must-have in my collection. Up next, we have Yves Saint Laurent Reve Gauche Pour Homme. Forgot to bring my bottle out here with me, and I don't feel like going to get it, so you're going to do with me just talking about it here for a second. But Reve Gauche... This is one that I discovered this year and I've fallen in love with. It smells fantastic. It's a barbershop fougere type of scent, which I've really been enjoying. And that stuff on my skin is super, super strong, like surprisingly strong. I get great performance out of it, both in projection, but also longevity. I can really pick up whiffs of it on my skin and on my clothing for a long time after. So really strong stuff there. And again, my bottle is the newer version, the completely clear bottle. And yeah, 
super strong, smells fantastic. It's a classic and it smells gorgeous. That's Yves Saint Laurent Rive Gauche Pour Homme. I can't live without that one. And finally, last fragrance up, we have Elysium in both concentrations. We've got the Parfum Cologne featured here, but I also wear the Parfum straight often as well and in fact what I do is I layer them so I'll do usually two sprays of the extrait on either side of my neck and I'll hit myself with two or three sprays of the parfum cologne like on the front back and then maybe like under my chest or under the shirt on my chest or something in that configuration but I do layer them more often than not that way I get really really good longevity from the extrait and I get really good projection from the parfum cologne because the parfum cologne pops off my skin like crazy. The extrait really doesn't project as much, but it does last and last and last. And oftentimes what I'll do with that as well is I'll layer Aventus with them as well. I'll do like a spray of Aventus to my chest underneath my shirt or something like that. So it's not too loud, but it kind of adds to it. That's kind of typically what I'll do. And it smells incredible. Elysium, I can't live without this scent. I love it. I wear it in the winter. I just wore it not too long ago. And again, I wear it a ton in the summer as well. That's when it's best suited for 100%, but I still wear it when it's cold outside just because I can't get enough of it. And really quickly, we have started our channel memberships. And if you're unaware, this is basically where you can join and get access to bonus content, early access to videos, one to two live streams a month. You can get direct access to contact me directly. And on top of that, you also get access to coupon codes, discount codes. You get a free shipping code on my website that only the members get. A whole bunch of stuff like that. So if you want to join and you want to be a part of that, make sure you check it out. It'll be linked down below or you can click the join button next to the subscribe button down below on my channel. I just posted my first bonus video, which is a video on my EDC. So my everyday carry, basically I go over what I carry on my body every day from my watch to my knife to my pen to my flashlight, a whole bunch of stuff. I go over all that in that video. And again, I'm going to upload videos like that probably two or three times a month starting out now. The more members we get, the more I'll increase those bonus videos for you guys. So you'll get more bonus content, the more people get in the membership. And again, once we get enough members in the second tier, I'll do a first live stream. So you can get on, ask me questions or anything. It's going to be a lot of fun. So again, make sure you check it out. I really would appreciate your support there. And now let's go and jump back into this video. And now let's go and jump back into this video. So guys, that's it for me. That are 10 fragrances that I can't live without. Again, let me know down in the comments, what are the fragrances that you have to have that you can't live without? What are your fragrance essentials? And that's gonna do it for me, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your night and I'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.